man, there's really not too many people here. Probably about six trailers parked up there, and I'm gonna be the seventh. Usually this parking lot is filled up, and it's not just that one in the background. It's all around here. There's nobody out here, because it's a little bit rough, a little bit windy. Kind of reminds me of the last time I went out. Solo today on my own boat. Andrew's up there on the North River. We're going to get some fish. I want to show you the smoked salmon recipe. It's the best thing you've ever tasted. Not the calmest conditions. Honestly, probably the roughest that I've ever taken my own boat out. We're on our way to Pedro. We were going to stop here and troll, but off in the distance, see about 200 birds diving at least. So instead of starting and putting in right here, we're gonna make our way a little bit closer to those birds. I think it's a little feeding frenzy going on over there. Let's see, hopefully the salmon are in now. And it's windy out here, man. There's white caps. I'm gonna say that there's a, at least a six foot swell. But I got this patch on, scopalamine patch, and it's crazy. In the United States, you have to get a prescription for them. They sell them for $30 each. Can you believe that? $30 each. But when I went to Korea, they had packs of two over the counter for five bucks. Isn't that crazy? What a rip off. And the same ingredient and everything. Just, I don't know man, these pharmaceutical companies, what are you doing man? All right, let's get some salmon. Fish on. Oh yeah, baby. That's a good one too. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that taking drag. Oh man. I didn't get snagged. Come on. Is that a fish or what? Yeah, that's a fish. That's a good one. Man, he's taking me. I'm gonna get spooled. That's not a salmon, dude. I don't know what that is, but. I gotta chase his ass. What is this? Oh, I just broke him off, damn it. Oh no, he's still there. What the hell is this? I broke him off now. But that had to be a shark or something. That was a shark. That was so weird. What in the world? My diver, broke my diver off. Probably a shark ate my diver. I had to put my thumb on the spool, man. Damn. Ah, I wish I didn't have to, but I would've got spooled. There's, I mean, what, what else can I do? I'm not gonna lose all my line. Today, the conditions are kind of similar, but I'm gonna stay close. I'm gonna stay by the cans and hope I get lucky. Really windy today, but that's all right. I wanted to show you a little bit about this boat that I bought. It's a 1993 Arima Sea Chaser. This is the inside here. It's got tons of room, tons of area to fish. Now, I launch a lot solo, and that one of my biggest fears is going down to the ramp, and for some reason, your boat's sliding into the water. And a lot of times that happens because a lot of people put on the e-brake, maybe they'll get the boat back on the trailer, they'll hook up the belt, they'll hook up the safety chain, maybe a big swell comes in, comes in and pulls down that car starts slipping. Handbrake is on, foot brake is on, emergency brake is on, all the same thing, but only the back two wheels are locked. It helps a lot if you have someone with you pushing on the brake. So let me show you a little trick that I do when I'm alone, just to give myself a little peace of mind when I'm launching by myself. I always like to get my wheels right here at the water line. Here's the big thing that always gives me a little bit of comfort. Take a big stick, a dowel, and I'll put it on the brake and I'll push it onto my seat here. That way the brake is depressed, all four wheels are locked and it's not just the rear from the emergency brake. Now it's as if I had somebody sitting in the driver's seat as I launched the boat. Strap off, safety chain off and now I can start pushing the boat out. Just make sure your drain plug is in. Now when you're launching, you always want to pull your boat to the end of the ramp just in case there's someone in line, you give them a little spot where they can put their boat in also. Now when you're tying up, you want to pull the boat tight and get it close to the ramp as possible. Use the rope, use the cleat, and that'll help you a lot. But you don't want to just start wrapping it up. You don't want to do that, all right? 
you start from the opposite end, let that rope come out, give it a half turn, and then over, 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 and then give it a flip, that locks it. Give it another flip, and that should be good. That's all you need. All right, today's a new day. If you're watching this video, it probably means that we caught some fish, probably. Man, I've been having a, such a bad year for salmon. I think I've been out like 10 times and maybe caught two fish. Last time I went out with this guy, more than fishing, we uh, caught my personal best. That was a good day. It was an 18 pound salmon that day. Okay, ready? Here he comes, this right now. No, 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 no. Oh, right now. Get him, get him, get him. Get him. Yeah, let's go. Dude, Woo! Hell yeah, Stop. keep him out there, keep him out, keep him out, keep him out, keep him out. I don't know, I think we're gonna have a good day. It looks nice and calm, no wind. I'm gonna try to throw to uh, fish with two things. No flasher or anything, just a straight bait, cable baiter, about a five foot leader on this rod. That's going to the downrigger. And then on this rod, we've got this apex, not a watermelon, but this color. Everything's barbless. And this is about five foot leader also. And this is on a, a deep six. One thing we can do, if we see a lot of bait, we can catch some. Where did you catch that uh, salmon that you caught with uh, oh, that dino? Was that was in Pescadero. And then, uh, I mean, uh, what baits? Apex. Did you use bait? Apex. Oh, Apex. How long did you guys fish? Six until six. <laughs> Dang, man. I was 12 hours? Oh, look at the bait right there. See a little bait? Yeah, Jumping. yeah, yeah, yeah. You wanna catch him now? Uh, yeah, man, if we can. Bring it up a little, like this, it's between uh, 15 and 15? 30. 15 and 30 All feet. All right. Oh, you should get yeah. bit really fast, too. Nothing, I'm not, not bite. Where's the bite? Are you sure that's a fish? <laughs> All right, June's gonna catch some, jig up some bait right now. I'm gonna get some water in here. And I'm not trying to keep them alive today. We're just trying to, trying to, let them die, kind of suffocate themselves. Where's the fish? Anything? Nothing. Oh yeah, we got some bait here, guys. Okay, put it in neutral. How do you put this in neutral? So it's vertical, straight up and down. Like this? Yep. There you go. All right, oh, that's a good size one. Let's take a look at this guy. Look at him, we want to keep his scales on, but man, Put that on the cable baiter, that's gonna be nice flopping through the water. Look at that, oh yeah. Here's a trick if you ever catch live bait, you don't wanna to touch them too much, so you can take a hook, get it around the line, just let them fall off like that. Same as this, just grab, the, grab it by the line, put it upside down, and the fish will come off, and they stay really fresh like that. That's a good, good little spin. I wish it was a little faster, but I think that'll work. How fast are we going? 2.6. 2. 2. Let's, 6. Go, let's, let's go a little faster. Let's go uh, 3.2, 3. 3.4. All right, let's go a little bit faster. So I'm not necessarily going by the speed. I'm just going by the, the spin this time. That looks like a good spin. Yeah, perfect, 3.2. Tons of bait here, tons of bait. All right, now my bait is behind us, about 15 feet. Getting it set to this braid here. And we're going to go down 30 feet on this one. So now I'm just going to reel down to it so the rod bends a little. Perfect. All right. Now we're fishing. Let's go. Let's go anytime now, guys. We're going to get we're going to get a bite in one of those rod or both. I went to that boat once. We did together, I think. Oh yeah, I remember that. <laughs> yeah. Only black rock. Yeah. Was that ish, ish uh, tournament. tournament? Fish on, fish on, fish on. Oh shoot! Shoot! Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, baby. Oh, my my drag is. Oh, I lost that mess! Man! Oh no, no, it's still there! 
Oh, no, I lost it. Tiny one, though. Tiny one? Yeah. So I thought I lost it. Tiny one? Tiny, tiny. Keeper or no? I don't know. It looks small. Oh, no, it's like no, 20 inches. Be a that's yeah, a it's a keeper. Oh, yeah, that's a keeper. Oh. Oh no! Come on! Come on! Reel in a little more, if you can. Right there, Matt. Oh, shaking his head. Let's go! Oh! Yeah, <laughs> yeah baby! Bro! That's what I was saying! First one. King. Yeah, that's a keeper, man. Yep. That's a keeper. Oh, that's a king. That's a definitely All right, a keeper. On the, on, the, on the cable baiter, on the anchovy that we jigged up earlier. Yeah, yeah. bro, there you go. That's what I'm saying, guys. <laughs> it jumped off and then you caught it. <laughs> shoo, 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 shoo. I got the All thing right, this here. Is our, here, let me bonk him. Make sure. It's dead. One down. One down. Next one's mine. <laughs> Dude, uh, let's go. That's nice. That's nice. Take that's that. nice. Yeah, Take yeah. That. That's how you identify king salmon, black gums. Let's see. He's 26 inches. Here, June, actually, let's put this in the, let's bleed him in the net because I forgot my bucket. Yeah. Woo. One down. One yeah. down. This is what I'm using, the fresh bait still alive. All right, right there. That's philosophy D right there, Daniel. They just hook up. Oh, everybody's hooking up, man. Look. Next to us, too. All right, let's get back out there. Came off with the salmon. Damn, came off, and I know exactly where. So let's go get some more bait. And they, I don't know, they're biting on that fresh stuff. So if we can jig up some more anchovies, get about 10 of them, and I can bait some new cable baiters real fast instead of that old, dead, frozen stuff, I think we'll, we'll have our limits today. We're gonna have enough bait to fish all day if we want to. All right, I got a couple. These there are nice, go. these are perfect size too. Same thing, just unhooking them. That's a lot to bait. Yeah, that's so much bait, man. It's probably five right here. <laughs> I knew oh, it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that should be enough. Let's go. Some salmon now. Got the new bait. This is going to be easy. It's going to be easy. easy. Five minutes, guys. Five minutes. Five minutes. Oh, five five minutes, minutes we can have one. Yeah, and I think maybe in two hours we'll limit. Maximum, maximum. All right, all maybe, right. Maybe an hour. Uh, all right, all right, all right. We will see that. If we could land the fish, we gotta, you know, I think we'll we'll hook up on them, but I don't know if we can land them. That's the only issue. We will. How deep are we? Okay, we 73. are at 73, sir. Thank you, sir. Also, both our fish, or both hookups, was trolling north. So that just might be the secret today. Sometimes they only bite on a certain direction for some reason. Okay, I'm gonna call my wife right now. And we all know that my wife. Yes, yes. <laughs> my wife is my lucky charm. Now I'm just gonna check on them because I left her with four kids and she's by herself there. I'm gonna call her now. If you've never seen June's video, every time he calls his wife, he gets a fish immediately after. So he's gonna call her, hopefully she answers. Oh, right there, fish on, fish on, Matt, right there. Still there? Yeah. So is that in? So. Yeah, let's go, baby. Slow down the troll a little bit. You don't have to reel that one in. Just slow down the troll a little. 
What do you think? It's a salmon. It's a salmon, bro. Let's go. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, baby! That was fast, man. That was quick. Don't come off. Don't oh, come no. off. Where is it? Right behind us, right there. Woo! Yeah, baby! It's a decent sized one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's right, almost here it comes. Oh. Uh oh. Alright, here it is. Here it is. Oh, no, no, not yet. Right there. Uh oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, I'm gonna lift him up. I'm gonna lift him up. Yeah, yeah baby. baby! Woo! That was so exciting, bro! Yeah! Yeah! Woo! -hoo! All right. That was quick. That was yeah. quick. Yeah! That All was right. quick. Watermelon Apex, bro. Oh, my God, yeah. that feels so good. Ah. Yeah, baby! Mm. Yep. Mm. Just a couple hits, he's good. Done. Hey, Miguel, thank you, man. You know who you are. Caught this fish because of you. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Oh, that feels so good. Bro! Oh. I, went, uh, I went 38. 38, okay. 38. About the same size. About the same. Right? A little bit bigger. Oh, yeah, baby. Nice. Let's get back there. Catch more, let's, let's limit it up, man. Let's do it, let's do it. We're trolling pretty fast too. You know, I wasn't trolling at a certain speed. I was just trolling based off of uh, the cable baiter and how, how I want that roll. I just wanted it like a fast roll and I couldn't get it at two and a half miles an hour. So I sped up to 3.2 and that probably gave the watermelon apex a crazy motion also. All right. Let's go! You got the lucky hand. Let's yep, do it. let's go. Let's do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Jude's gonna steer us into some fish now. And I'm gonna gut these fish here. Gills out. I like this knife too. It has a little spoon on the back oh, of it. It looks like a spoon. It is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Salmon, salmon knife. Nice. Whoa! No way. Nice looking fish right there. Depends on where we are, but that'd be fun. I thought you got a bite there. Yeah, you got a bite there, I think. Yeah, fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on. One, two, up there. Oh yeah, fish on here, guys. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Another one. <laughs> Whoa, no. Oh yeah, look. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. All right. All right. Well, that's a good one, huh? It's about the same. It's about the same. Yeah. Oh, another one. <laughs> Let's go, Matt. There she is. Yep. There she is. Right there. Oh, she's coming in. Coming in. Right there. Right there. Woo! Let's go. Another one. Keep her. Let's go. <laughs> That's a keeper. That's definitely a keeper. I mean, these fish are a little bit small. Not bad, though. Yeah, not we'll bad. We'll take it. It's a salmon. <laughs> we'll take that. Yeah. Probably 25. 23. 23, 23 inches. Yep. Okay. The limit size is 22, right? 20. A 20. Sorry, my bad. So the limit for, for salmon, king salmon, is 20. And then you are allowed to keep two fish. So there two you go, fish. folks. Yeah, baby. You, 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 you. Aha. All right. First we caught that on the bait, the first fish. Next is on the, on the apex. And the third one is on the bait. So I'm guessing the fourth fish, we're gonna catch it here with the apex. Nice trip, nice trip. Hey, just let me know if you wanna come back again. <laughs> Are you doing catch and cook? I'm gonna do smoked salmon. Okay, 
Last time I did smoked salmon, I did it with a dry brine. So you put the salt and sugar dry over the fish. Okay. But this time I did it when it's wet. So I soak it in the water, in the salt water. It's just so, so much better. Isn't that supposed to be, to brine it, it's wet? It has to be wet? No. You couldn't do both. If you do it dry, then all the water comes out of the salmon. Same if it's wet, it still comes out, but more flavor gets in, infused. Right. We just got lucky. Just look at lucky, man. Right? Because there's no sign of anything here. First, we're just by ourselves. Second, there's no bait fish around. There's no birds diving. But maybe there's just fish everywhere. Yeah. Come on. Let's go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fish on, fish on. Fish on, fish on, fish on. Yep, 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 yep. Let's go. Big one. Yeah. Yeah, let's go, let's go. Woo. Ha ha. There you go, bro. Turn us to the right, team. Sharp, right? Oh, that's a big one, man. Yeah, sharp right, sharp right, sharp right. Sharp right, sharp right. I'm turning. Let's go. <laughs> Got it. Wait, wait a minute. Man. That's a good one, dude. Woo! Yeah, man. Fix the net. Fix the net. All right, let's go. Oh, that's a nice one. That's, that's a nice one. Come on, bro, let's go! Right there, right there. It's a good one. Come on. Oh, shoot. Got it. Yo, that's what I'm saying! Yeah, bro! Yeah! That's a big one. That's a big one. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> oh, I live it, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. Woo. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> that's big, that's big. <laughs> All right, limit. Limit. Limit, limit, yes. And, uh, Eating anchovies. Oh, anchovies. Yes, yes, yes. This is actually my second time with uh, Mads on a boat. See how thick that bloodline is, how deep it goes. Four fish, baby. Four fish. They're all wild. Yeah, they're all wild. Before I fillet this up and get it prepped for smoke, smoking, I'm going to take the scales off. There's, there's scales on here. You can eat the scales on a salmon, but let me show you. A little trick to get them off really easily. I learned this from Jay. Jay, what's up, dude? So if you've got a hose, just go the opposite direction of the scales. Put it on a pressure. Let's see. Get it on a fine pressure. You should be able to get the scales right off. It's just a little bit nicer when you eat it when the scales are off, even though you can eat salmon scales. Waste a little bit of water, but saves a lot of time. Completely descaled. Look at that. This one, too. Get them scales off real quick. All right. Now that is a descaled salmon. All right. Next, I'm gonna take off his collars and uh, just fillet this bad boy. Nice collar. Just cut down the back and go to the center line. center line should be easy because the bones are so thin on salmon you can just cut right through it just make sure your knife is under the belly just 
push that knife through. Should have nice fillet right there, baby. A little bit extra here. You can either go like this with the knife, get some extra off, just like that. It's really not that much though. Like a little slice like that. Put it on eggs or something. Never really understood in the past how to do this, but it's pretty easy to get this, the ribs out after you fillet it like that. Just put them in and just go ahead and cut up. Look at that. Now you just want to cut down, but just fold it down, you know? It's a lot easier like that. Now the bones are out. And all you got is this little membrane right here. Man, it's the day after. I got a bunch of salmon. Feels good to catch some fish like that. I'm gonna lay this out on a cutting board and we're gonna to get to cooking. So I got two of these. It'll be easy to pick the pin bones now that the salmon's been sitting in the fridge overnight. Just something about it sitting overnight makes it a lot easier to pull out. So you just pull them the direction that they're going in and they'll pull right out. Once you do this, you got a boneless fillet. These are salmon tweezers, really help a lot, but you can use a pair of pliers also. Make quick work of these bones once you let it sit overnight. And if you do fillet it, if you do cut them in half, just make sure you get the ones on the side here. Because they do go all the way down to the skin, so you just want to make sure you don't miss any that are on the side like that. You know, taking these pin bones out is not exclusive to salmon. If you wanted a nice fillet like this without cutting the pin bones from a rockfish or a perch, you can totally do this too. You just gotta, just takes a little extra time, but the end results are really nice. You get a big boneless fillet that looks full and complete. All the bones are out. Now it's time to mix up our ingredients. We need a quart of water, a third cup of kosher salt, and a cup of brown sugar. Now, I don't know, I like to be a little bit generous on the sugar and a little conservative on the salt. Now, if you use the fine type of salt, you use two ounces, but in this case, the kosher salt is kind of coarse, so I'm using a third instead of two ounces. Now, for the sugar, I don't care if I'm a little bit over, but if you want to do about a cup. All right, same thing over here. The secret that makes this recipe so good is the wet brine. I've tried the dry brine in the past and it was good, but I don't know, some places were salty, some places didn't have enough salt, but this ensures that the entire salmon gets infused with the flavor of the salt, the preservative of the sugar, and at the same time, it leaches some moisture from the salmon itself. Totally, you know, it's, there's no question about it. So like I said, again, just make sure it's all dissolved in there. Once you think it is, you can feel around in there on the bottom. Just make sure, and yes, it's getting there. So when it comes to cutting up the salmon, it's all really personal preference. I personally like to separate it by the belly. The belly pieces get their own little smoke, get their own section. I like to separate it into four pieces. Like I said, really personal preference, but the belly pieces are the best. So this is the part where you can get fun with it. Just experiment, do what you want as far as sizing goes. I like the belly pieces. I'll do this in three pieces. And you want to keep all of the pieces about the same uh, thickness so they cook evenly. Also, if you wanted to get fancy, you could throw some uh, pepper or something into your brine and have a little flavor like that. All right, once you get her cut up, just plop her in the brine. Now that's basically it, but an important step that you don't want to skip, you got to make sure that all of the salmon is underwater. Into the fridge she goes for 24 hours. It takes a little bit of time to get this smoked salmon completed, but it's well worth the wait. And honestly, the process may be long, but it's not difficult. It's very simple. So after being refrigerated for 24 hours, we're gonna take out the salmon. Now, even though they've been soaking in a liquid, a lot of the moisture content of this fish has been extracted from the, with the salt. It's like brining your baits. It's like brining this food. It takes away the salt and it makes it stiffer. You might go through a lot of paper towels when you smoke some salmon. You're almost at the finish line. Resist the temptation to throw this in the smoker right now. Let the meat develop that sticky, residue on the outside and it's going to be that much more rewarding so place it in a spot under a fan that's cool maybe 60 degrees or less and let it cool for about four hours it should develop that skin in that time if you don't have a place like that or you live in a warm area 
put it in the cooler overnight one more night. So the salmon has been sitting in my garage at a low temperature with a fan blowing on it for about four hours now. Now it's formed this very sticky, tacky layer on top of the meat and it's ready to be smoked. Now when you get it to your smoker, or you could do this in your oven too if you don't have a smoker, just set the temperature at 180 degrees, about an hour and 45 minutes to two hours, and that's the total cooking time. And every 20 minutes to 30 minutes, you wanna baste it with a little honey or maple syrup, something sweet, you can use jam even, and do that every 20 or 30 minutes until it's done. Now for the thinner pieces, you might wanna take those off early, earlier or else they'll get kinda of dry. And just monitor it and you'll find out what consistency and texture you like your smoked salmon over time. But an hour 45 minutes to two hours is a good starting point if you have pieces about the thickness as these. Come on out here with me. Let me show you the grill. I've had this thing for about two years and I have never serviced it. And I think that's what went wrong. You now this is a damn shame. Gotta end the video like this. I mean, that to me don't look too bad. That's a piece of the belly. And it's surprising something that got so messed up. Oh man. Mm. Wow, can still taste so good. You know what? It got messed up a little bit, but I'm still gonna share some. All right, I had to redo it. This is a new batch from that other tiny salmon. Not the big old one, but smoked salmon is always better if the pieces are a little bit thicker, especially the belly pieces. That's a belly piece right there. It's only about three quarters of an inch thick. If it was an inch thick, oh my goodness, that's the best thing on earth. But it's about done now. It's been cooking for about two hours. I've brushed it with honey about three or four times. So it's got a nice sweet coating on the outside. So, all right, let's get some people to taste this stuff. You may be asking yourself why I'm on the beach. Well, the smoked salmon is done and I'm trying to get an unbiased opinion. There's someone that I've run into a couple times while biking on the beach. He says he fishes every day except the weekends. It's the weekend today, so I'm just hoping that he's out here. Met him about two times. His name is Mark, I'm trying to meet him up and see if you'll try the smoked salmon and give you an unbiased opinion and a taste test. All right, guys. It's only right to bring June back to taste the salmon. So I tasted it already and it's so good. All right, let me see this, let like me see this. Little, oh, look at that. Little Special. golden golden nugget right there. <laughs> Let's see this. Oh my God, I saw you, you burned that oh, first gosh, batch. Yeah. That was really disappointing, that one. <laughs> Am I supposed to say that or camera? <laughs> yeah, that's okay. They know already. <laughs> All right. Now this time. Okay, let's see this. He's been he's been bragging about this ingredients that he he made during our trip on the boat. So we'll see this. I'm gonna be honest on my on my. Uh, yes, please. <laughs> please be honest. I'm gonna be really honest. If this one doesn't taste good, I'm gonna tell this guy it's yeah. not good. But we'll see this. Wish I had more. I'll, I'll, if oh, you like look it. at that. Oh, the That's texture, it's really... So there's honey on the outside, glazed yeah. with honey. Like and that's glazy, look, it looks like a, car not caramelized, but it's oily. Okay. Can uh, we show the camera? Oh yeah, I'm gonna look yeah, at this. It's, it's oily, but it's not sticky, kind of like, yeah, like a honey. So it yeah. comes... You said it has honey on it? Yep, glazed with okay. honey. Glazed yep. honey. We'll see, we'll see. All right. That's the only ingredients that I know of that he mentioned, but I'm gonna see if I can find out what else is in there. So. Mmm. Good, huh? Oh, pretty good. Have you, really good. Have you had smoked salmon? Yeah. You've had, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, smoky. Smoky, yeah. 180 degrees for two hours. Wow, it's good. Scott, uh, if you, uh, for those Filipino out there that is watching this right now, I'm gonna compare this to to our food in Philippines. 
we call that tinapa tinapa so it's also a a smoke fish or milk fish um, or any kind of fish in Philippines that we do this exact the same text a uh, taste oh, okay yeah kind of salty salty sweet too? smoky sweet it's kind of like that so that's it's really good that's the belly so there's a lot of fat yeah. that. and after that's you oily. swallow it you can kind of taste the oil yeah. it stays with you it's very, very tasteful like rich very rich in taste would you say I like it best smoked salmon you ever had yeah right. i gotta have to All say right. that i'm telling you guys i'm Confirmed. honest about my 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 opinion on this salmon right here because i taste a lot of uh smoke fish um by far by i'm far. gonna rank this as my number one oh. that's just me All right. i don't know about you guys i hope you guys can taste yeah, what easy. i'm tasting right now easy so. recipe too Easy. Yeah, it just takes a long time because you have to set it overnight and brine it overnight. But um, make sure you don't burn it. Just don't burn it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you. It's really good, man. Awesome, bro. Awesome. awesome. Nice, nice. The best. Love it. All right. All right. Man, he came out here again looking for Mark, but no sign of him. Not here at all. I don't know. A couple days, I come out to find him. He's just not here. Well. Take my word for it, take June's word for it, best smoked salmon ever. Gotta try it, just give it a try. Nothing to lose. All right, see you guys.